Today I'm going to speak with you about nasal tip lift. When the tip of the nose points down to the floor, it's kind of a negative expression. It's often seen on smiling and it makes a person look older. Of course, we know the upper part of the nose is bone attached to the skull, but the lower part is cartilage and it's mobile. A tip lift is performed in the operating room by manipulating certain cartilages at the tip and also making a post that goes up the center of the columella so the tip is lifted throughout one's life, giving a more juvenile appearance. How do I know if I need a full rhinoplasty or just a tip lift? Well, of course, with a full rhinoplasty, we have to address the nasal bones. There's often a bump in the center. The bones can be wide and unsightly. The cartilages are also addressed in a full rhinoplasty, but in a tip lift, that's all that's addressed just the tip cartilages, giving it a little bit of lift and revealing a more juvenile, less angry appearance. So what is the recovery process in just a tip lift? Well, we're only dealing with the nasal cartilages, not the nasal bone. So this is a relatively quick procedure with very, very little downtime. There's no filing of bone, so there's no nasal splint. The surgery is performed from inside the nose and the tip is supported by tapes for three days, sometimes an additional three or four days, but that's really about it.